Federal prosecutors say investigators seized 50,000 gigabytes of digital information from Harold Martin in an August raid of his Glen Burnie home. 50 gigabytes is a gob of data. That's a lot of data. So if that's the amount of data he took electronically, it's astronomical. Martin, a former contractor with the NSA, is charged with theft of government property and unauthorized removal and retention of classified documents. He's been detained since his arrest. A judge will decide whether he'll be released Friday. Prosecutors claim Martin's pretrial release would threaten national security, saying the government anticipates much of the stolen material will be determined to be national defense information and that Martin has the knowledge and training to house some or all of that digital information in cyberspace where he could easily access or transfer it if set free. Whatever he got out, he has probably stored secretly somewhere. So he might have it broken up into little pieces here and there all across the internet where he can go retrieve it. Martin held a top secret clearance for many years and worked for Booz Allen Hamilton, Edward Snowden's former employer. Martin has extensive government training on computer security, including the areas of encryption and secure communications. That makes him even more dangerous, right? So he could use encryption techniques to hide his own tracks. It's still unclear why Martin allegedly stole the classified information. He wasn't poor. It wasn't like he had a gambling habit that they can tell. So usually people are motivated by those kinds of things. He might have just wanted glory. Prosecutors also say that Martin has communicated online in Russian and that he would be of great value to any foreign power that would be willing to shelter him outside of the United States. Federal prosecutors do anticipate filing additional charges, including violations of the Espionage Act. We're live in downtown Baltimore, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.